In this video, we explain the principles behind the following techniques for lossless compression, run length encoding, and dictionary based methods. So, we'll be taking a look at two different methods of lossless compression. Dictionary coding is ideal for the compression of text based documents, and run length encoding is more suited to the compression of images. Being lossless compression techniques, both utilize a method of encoding data that allows us to recreate the original file in its full quality. Dictionary coding works by building an index that we visualize as a table. Every data item or entry in the file is recorded, along with an indexed reference or unique code. The compressed file now consists of the dictionary index, the table, and the sequence of occurrences needed to recreate the original file. So here we can see the original file being recreated or uncompressed. We're taking each number from the sequence, we're looking it up in the dictionary index and replacing it with a corresponding word. The original message is 105 characters, including spaces. Assuming we're using 8-bit ASCII encoding, this gives us 8 bits times 105 characters or 840 bits. After compressing, what we have is 46 numbers in the sequence. Each number is stored in binary. We need to store the numbers 1 to 17, so each number needs to be represented by 5 bits. That's 5 times 46 entries, that's 230 bits. We've compressed the message to 27% of its original file. Now, bear in mind, we would also need to transmit the actual index table, so you'd need to take this into consideration. But the bigger it gets, the better the compression becomes. So while dictionary coding is great for compression of text-based files, run length encoding is ideal for compressing bitmap images. Bitmap images are made up of discrete pixels. To recreate this image faithfully, using lossless compression, we need to be able to recreate every pixel. Now in this example, we can see there's many contiguous pixels of the same color. So storing the binary for each one would be inefficient. With two colors, we can encode the image with a color depth of one bit, naught for white and one for black. Here we can see many repeating sequences of zeros and ones. So what we really need to store is that we have 22 white pixels, followed by six black pixels, followed by eight white pixels, etc. This information is stored in what we call frequency data pairs. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. How does run length encoding work? And how does dictionary coding work? 